This morning, we learned that Tesla on December 29 signed a special new battery supply deal with Panasonic. This morning, Tesla released a new SEC filing, confirmed it signed a new 2020 pricing agreement with Panasonic last week. So let's see what's in that and how much information we have. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armen Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and analysis and electric vehicle news analysis and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV news analysis. So let's see what that pricing agreement between Panasonic and Tesla says. To SEC filing, on December 29, 2020, Tesla and Tesla Motors Netherlands from now on Tesla and Panasonic Corporation of North America and Sanyo Electric Corporation uh, together Panasonic from now on entered into a 2021 pricing agreement effective as of October 2000 October 1 2020 until March 31 2022 relating to the supply by Panasonic of lithium ion battery cells manufactured by Panasonic in Japan the agreement is subject to the supply agreement between Tesla and Panasonic and or their respective affiliates dated October 5, 2011 as amended and sets forth, among other things, specific terms with respect to pricing, production capacity commitments, purchase volume commitments and planned investments over the term of the agreement until March 31, 2022. This ends the quote from Tesla's SEC filing. As you can see, friends, the details of this Tesla Panasonic official agreement signed on December 29, 2020, the details are scarce. But the disclosure does not does note that the deal is for battery cells coming from Japan. Now, I asked our friend Dean McManus what he thinks about this deal. He says it just makes the 4680 battery deal official, but it still does not reveal the following question it still does not reveal if panasonic's uh, uh, 4680 batteries will actually use tesla's maxwell technology or streamlined factory methods we don't know that and uh, we know that panasonic had already announced before that it will be starting to build the 4680 battery in nevada and this just confirms that news and uh, as you know panasonic on december 26 announced that it will build the prototypes of new tesla battery and while uh, the manufacturer eyes production uh, deal uh, with, uh, with uh, tesla tesla is also looking into in house things what happened on december 26 panasonic according to nikkei asia will begin production as early as this year in 2021 the prototypes of new cheaper type of battery for tesla electric vehicle now if you guys know can you give me any ideas if you think tesla will a uh, panasonic will build based on tesla's maxwell technology or something different uh, when it comes to the 4680 batteries coming from japan so nikkei asia then reported that the cylindrical cell plans for which were announced in september by tesla ceo elon musk was developed in-house by panasonic at tesla's request it is larger than the automaker's current batteries at 4.6 centimeter in diameter and 8 centimeter long and also uses different materials the new design costs less than half as much per kilowatt hour according to tesla panasonic according to that deal will set up a prototype production line at existing facilities the cost of the project is expected to run into the tens of millions of dollars that's what the cost of project was agreed with between tesla and panasonic in this december 29 agreement and note that it's going to run until march 31st 2022 i'm going to ask later a question what do you think will be the relationship between tesla and panasonic after march 31st 2022 do you think it will continue or do you think by then tesla will have built its um 
largest battery factory in the world at Giga Berlin and also possibly another large battery factory in Texas next to Giga Texas and also as I reported several days ago Tesla is hiring battery engineers production managers in Raleigh North Carolina which I reported several days ago hinting that Tesla may build another battery in Raleigh North Carolina therefore do you think these facilities with Nevada Gigafactory's battery in facility may be enough to meet Tesla's demands and what do you think will happen to the Tesla and Panasonic relationship after March 31st 2022. Now uh, Nikkei Asia says Panasonic will set up a prototype production line at existing facilities though Tesla plans to make the new cell battery cell itself. Battery industry watchers according to Nikkei Asia expect it will be difficult for Tesla to handle all of the production on its own. Panasonic will seek a future partnership to take on some of the manufacturing. So in my opinion, I think after 2030, uh, 2022, uh, March 31st, Tesla and Panasonic will still need one another. They will still need each other because the demand will go up so much. I don't know if Tesla by itself will be able to make that many batteries to build to meet the demand of its cars because we know there is going to be huge demand for batteries. In fact, I think it was last month in December or so that Volkswagen's chief uh, Herbert Diess said Europe alone will need about 40 battery factories to meet the growing demand before I think 2025 or 2000. 2030 and in fact uh, I just learned that one of the another Chinese company is building a huge battery gigafactory in Berlin I probably will report on that in Saarland Berlin I don't remember the name of the company but that's where it was building so according to Nikkei Asia Panasonic recorded 473.5 billion yen which is 4.57 billion dollars in sales from its automotive battery business for the fiscal year ended March 31st with Tesla as its main customer the company plans to expand capacity by 10% according to Nikkei Asia in 2021 at a US plant it operates with Tesla in Gigafactory Nevada and is considering a new factory in Europe. I think this is going to be really interesting developments and um, you know the, the two companies weren't agreeing on a price for the battery sales produced at the factory as Tesla kept pushing for lower prices in history and Panasonic wanted to start seeing a return on its 1.6 billion investment in the factory this is from the history between Panasonic and Tesla but things seem to be looking up for now even though Tesla moved forward with its plan to build its own battery cells its own battery factories we have recently learned that Panasonic could also build a version of the new cell design Designed by Tesla. What version that will be, I honestly don't know. So, friends, let me know what you think about this, what you think about the future of Panasonic Tesla relationships. In the meantime, this is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And also, please look forward for another very interesting report coming from me today discussing the, the fact that. All of Tesla's 4680 batteries may not be equal because they will be built by different companies and why they may not be equal. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone, and see you soon.